Hi, my name's Dart and welcome to my Clan Wars series. And this is going to be a really fun video for me to make because it's going to be a recap of our current war versus the cave bears. Um, I, I say our, <laughs> I'm not actually in this Clan War. Uh, I've been super busy with work all week so I had to opt out of this one. Um, but as you can see, it's going pretty well. Uh, hopefully they don't realise that, uh, that I'm the weak link in the chain and not let me participate in any more Clan Wars or this could be the end of the series. Uh, but as you can see, we've had 68 attacks. Of those, we've won 62 of them, we've lost just 6 of them, and we have 17 3 stars and 22 2 stars. Uh, so it's been really good attacking. Um, that makes me happy because uh, because basically the Clan War series started when we started making a switch to try and 3 star bases, and so it was uh, the whole purpose of the series has been looking at how to 3 star Town Hall 9 bases. And um, yeah, we're doing very well, it seems like it's all coming together. So let's have a look at two attacks. Um, they are both going to be by uh, leaders, uh, our officers. Uh, the first one's by Didi, um, who uh, sent him as a farming clan, it's a, it's a farming family, but I think Didi might be our only actual farmer, so, uh, so it's really cool that I get to show you one of his attacks. Um, he's one of our elders, and he is a great attacker. And this is basically a textbook, Hugga Weeby. Um, I'm really happy to show you guys this, because uh, when I see an attack and I think, wow, I wish I could have done it like that, then, uh, then that's one I like to share. So here you can see he um, he triggers the clan castle with uh, with a giant and a couple of hogs. Um, that's actually been a, a constant theme. If there was one thing I could tell the cave bears, it would be that their clan castles seem like they were too easy to lure. Um, but uh, but yeah, basically, if you can pull the clan castle out this easily, then it, it's in the wrong place. Um, and the same goes for the uh, the second attack too. So um, Didi pulls the uh, the clan castle down and then. Um, then plays with them a little bit, drags them up and down like a, a cat with a mouse, pulls them all out and then deploys his kill squad just to get rid of them. So it's a, a one golem hogo weeby. Uh, the first, first the kill squad goes down and then the golem goes down. Now, yeah, as you've probably already noticed, um, he is. Uh, Town Hall 10, so he has the 5 spells, but that spell wasn't really necessary. He could have done it without the the Rage spell. Um, so the key is the pre-planned heals, and that is what makes this attack perfect. So the heals have gone in in exactly the right place. The hogs move through the base, sequentially getting from one defense to another, and the entire way they're covered by these heals. He put one here and one here to cover the first set of defenses, and then one here and one here to cover the second set of defenses. Basically, in the entire base, there's only a couple of defences at the top which aren't actually covered by heals. That's the key. If you heal the defences and not the hogs, then the hogs will move into the heal spells. So when you're planning your hog we break the base into four sections. Um, basically, halve it. And then deploy your hogs along one side. And as the hogs move through, heal one section, or both, both halves, oh, sorry, both quarters of one half, and heal the hogs as they go, and then the other side too. So that's it. That is how to three star a max Town Hall 9. Um, very very good. Really perfect basically. And the second attack is by one of our co's, um, local Josh, who again is a fantastic attacker. Um, but I think he said this is only the the second or third war that he's actually been using Hoggo Weeby, and I think this might be the first three star he's ever got with it. So, um, so this again, it, it makes me really, really happy to see people uh, see people succeeding with Hoggo Weeby because it's not an easy strategy to learn, but um, but it's really, really effective, and it, it's really cool when um, when you see guys excelling with it. So uh, again, you can't have your clan castle drawn by uh, by two giants. Uh, obviously, it's not Josh's fault. He can only beat what's put in front of him. But um, if your clan castle is getting pulled out regularly by giants, then it's in the wrong place. So he uses the three witches, which is great because uh, that means he can save his uh, his archer queen. Two or three, it's really your call. It's whatever you think is uh, is required. Then in goes the golem and the heroes. Josh, you can see, I mean, he's got a, a virtually maxed Town Hall 9. His heroes are fantastic. They're both level 20. Uh, right, now, in go all of the hogs in a nice big wave up the top. The only slight thing I'd have changed about this attack, and actually Josh 
mentioned it before I before I even spotted it, was that the first two heels, he does the same. He breaks the base in half and then heals two quarters first and then the other two quarters second. The, the only slight thing I'd change is that the first two heels go down slightly too soon. So there's maybe three seconds that he could have held them. If he'd held that heel and then deployed it now and then the second heel and it was down now, then he would have healed all the hogs for slightly longer. But you can see they're in exactly the right spot. They cover the majority of the uh, the most important defences. You can see there's wizard towers and two Teslas in there. Both of the uh, the expos are in there. And then those heal spells are perfectly timed. That one goes down there, and then that one goes down there. Great timing on the heals. There are actually double giant bombs in this place, but they're so badly placed that the hogs just go straight past them. There they go, getting detonated now, but it's way too late. And that's it. Uh, so again, another fantastic attack. Really, really, uh, just a textbook attack, basically. So I hope those helped. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, otherwise, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and, um, and a subscribe. Uh, hopefully, they'll let me back in the war this weekend, and, um, and so I'll have some more videos for you guys. And until then, happy clashing.